Hello Taurus, happy Monday to you. Elsie here for your reading for the week ahead. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different. I've got two decks here that are um, that I've uh, blended together here. We are working with the Divine Goddess Oracle deck, and we are working with the Hidden Truth Oracle. We're going to start here and we're going to do you versus them. That's what we're going to do. And uh, we're going to do you versus them. We'll see what the bridge is. And then I'm going to put some cards down here, face down. We're going to call those the can of worms. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. We're going to call them the can of worms. We're going to find out what's going on in this reading between you and them and what's bridging this energy here. And then we're going to open the can of worms. Let's see where it goes. <laughs> Let's see where it goes. So let's start out here. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for clicking here. If you are brand new or if you've joined us recently, if I've seen you in the comments, thank you, thank you. I've been looking them over and, and answering comments through the weekend. Just had to catch up on my private reads, y'all. That's why I wasn't here for your weekend reads. My apologies. But I only have so much energy, right? All right, here we go. One card out. There's your energy. The timing just wasn't right for us. Wasn't past tense, right? Oh. So maybe you feel like someone lied to you, right? Or it says false illusion, scarcity mentality, um, failing to, uh, no, sorry, falling into bad habits. The timing just wasn't right for us. Maybe you deceived yourself. Maybe you thought you should just be able to bull bulldoze your way through. And I'm just going to say, I'm a Taurus sun. Maybe you thought you could just bulldoze your way through, Taurus, and it didn't work out for you. And you feel like you were deceived, but the truth is you created the false illusion of you could move forward even if that person wasn't ready, right? Because you're the strong one, right? You move forward regardless. For them, we have success. And just being you is intoxicating. Interesting. So we have someone who is quite interested in you, Taurus. Or is it feels that you are very intoxicating to them. Um, I feel like this person wants to have success with you. I feel like they're very, um, they're very attracted to you. It says... It's your time to shine. Success from what you pour your heart into. That's on their side. I feel like someone is about to pour their heart into you, Taurus. Or pour their heart out to you. Let's get us some fairies. What are they called? It's called Oracle of the Fairies, I think. Yeah, Oracles of the Fairies. That's what it is. Let's throw a card down. What energy is going to bridge these two? So we have someone who's attracted to you, Taurus. You thought that they ditched you, but the truth is the timing wasn't right. You created the false illusion that you should do now, 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 and they just did not comply. We have purity. That's what's going to bridge you, it says. Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart, and within it, you will find an answer to your question. That all depends what your question is, right? <laughs> it's going to be different for all of you. All right. Let's put down our can of worms. Okay. Let's throw down the can of worms here. There we go. Put those here. And let's do some more clarifying here. The timing wasn't right for us and deception, a false illusion. Tell me about that for Taurus, please. Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter for the week ahead, Taurus. There you are right there so I feel like the illusion is that you you felt as though 
you felt as though you shouldn't have to wait because you're Taurus, because you're you're the Hierophant, right? You feel as though you're the spiritual teacher, you should have known, you had a knowing, you were listening to the higher self. The Princess of Cups is the Page of Cups. Waiting for an apology, that's what it is. So it says here the timing just wasn't right for us. The deception was creating the false illusion, feeling in a scarcity mentality, which is, you know, feeling not enough, feeling like you don't have enough, you're not enough, you can't enough, and um, um, falling into bad habits. So it could be bad habits uh, of what you were thinking. We have the Seven of Pentacles, and the Seven of Pentacles is, is about dropping seeds of intention and then waiting for it to grow. So the thing is, is that Right here, we know that you were supposed to be waiting because as you drop the seeds of intention, you have to nurture it and water it. And however that means to you, whether that's self-care or you were caring for others or whatever it is, you are waiting a time, right? We've got um, you having a knowing that there is a, that there is a, uh, an apology coming. And I feel as though as you're waiting, I feel like all of this, this time waiting and nurturing, I feel turns you into the Hierophant, turns you into the spiritual teacher. I feel like now that you were in the Hierophant energy, um, you know, using, using um, your spiritual knowledge to teach others, and I feel like this gives you a feeling of knowing that there is an apology on the way, because something is still growing, and it's just... It's not that it was, you know, we talked about this, right, already? We talked about this not being a period, but being a comma, and this is a good example of that. The timing just wasn't right. It's not that it's not coming. It's not the end. They didn't say no. The universe didn't say, go on your way, Taurus. It is the timing is not right for us. So it was set up that way. And probably because you needed to go through some teachings. Tell me about success. This is for your person. Success. It's your time to shine. Just being near you is intoxicating. This person is very, very taken with you, attracted to you. Wow, 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 wow. It's a realization that they are attracted to you. A tower has come to them. The lovers, they, they realize that they've turned away from someone who was sent to them as a lover. Now they're not sure. They're not sure if you're the one or not, but these are three major arcana. This is not stuff you can skirt around. Your person is going to be coming toward you after this tower, I believe. We have uh, the hermit in reverse. I feel like after having silence, no communication, no connection, not, not a word being said, I feel like somebody finally comes out of the hermit energy feeling as though they have an answer. And the answer is, I think I screwed up. I'm sorry. I think I screwed up. You're expecting the apology, right? And um, the lovers in reverse could mean that this is a karmic connection. Absolutely. But it also could mean that maybe, yeah, because I see the lovers in reverse as maybe one person being in and maybe not knowing if the other one is. And that's kind of what I feel from your side here. So we never leave this tower unattended, right? Let's find out what the energy is there. What sort of realization did your person come to? What's the tower energy, please, for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell us what this tower is about. What's this tower energy, please? We've got the two of pentacles. Trying to keep the happy face on, right? The brave face, the Facebook face. Trying to keep everything in balance, all the balls in the air, really. The only thing that's holding you up is the universe. The tower is falling, and it is, it is when I say holding you up, I meant your person, right? Because this is their side. And I feel like this person has a really big impact in this tower. I think it shakes them down financially, personally. They have, oh my gosh, they, they have an oh my gosh, like coming to Jesus moment, like, holy crap, that was the lover, I think, but now what? Now I need to be seen. Now I need to move forward. Now I need to make communication. There's an eight of wands there. 
So your person has realized that they need to communicate with you, even though they're feeling a little bit off balance, because this tower has plunged to the ground, and life as they know it is gone. It's done. So something they've come out of. They have to communicate with you because the realization in the tower is, I am in love with Taurus. I do have love for Taurus. I must communicate, and it's throwing me right off balance, but I have to do it anyway. Yep, so somebody's charging in because they want to be on a new path of passion with you, Taurus. Yep, that's the good news. The Page of Wands is always the good news. <clears throat> All right, let's take a look at this purity. Okay, Charlie says we are going for the oracles. Let's do that. So purity, let's look at it again. It's a beautiful card. I love these cards. I haven't used them in a while. And it says, um, always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart with uh, and within it you will find the answer to your questions. So what questions do you have? What answers do you need? Right? What questions do you have? What answers do you need? Should I take it or should I not? Yep, I feel like there is a, a long journey. And when I see this card in this kind of situation, it feels like this is going to be a love for the ages. It's going to be a story that your grandchildren and your grandchildren's children will know that great, great grandpa and grandma, you know, had this this beautiful thing, this beautiful coming together, a realization that they had to go on this journey together. And I feel like what's in your heart is that the journey is about to begin. I think you feel it. I think in the Hierophant energy, you feel it. There we go. There's the, the Lord. He is the one. He is the owner of the manor. He is the person who has people that look up to him. He would have, in that time, been someone who was quite wealthy and made decisions, you know, business decisions, decisions about others. Um, I feel like the Lord is the one who made all the decisions about whatever went on in the castle, right? And also is probably the person who is deciding to take the journey with you. Hmm. And maybe has gone for some counseling. It's either counseling or someone has gone to speak to, you know, a clergyman to say, you know, I, I have this person and I've, I've left another situation and I want to get married. What's the deal? Could be someone who, uh, this is also someone who can bestow blessings. <clears throat> the priest can be the hierophant as well. The person who has the knowledge to share, yeah, the, the spiritual teacher, it is the hierophant. I feel like your person wants to take, wants to take a, a journey with you. And I feel like it's going to start with some sort of a, a small gift, I feel. Um, a 3D gift, something that is very small but meaningful. Something that you uh, will be shocked that they remembered. Yeah, that's what it feels like. All right, let's get into the can of worms. And the can of worms is where we're going to go into the extended. Let's find out what's going on here. There it is. The two of cups, the eight of swords, the page, and there's the emperor. So that's what we've got here. We've got the two of cups. Somebody has been up in their head about how they feel about you. You've been up in your head about how you feel about them. Um, there we go. There's the brand new start. The brand new start is about to come up with the Emperor. And from here, we're going to go into the extended. We will clarify um, the can of worms because now we've opened it. We've got to look at it, right? So we have two people who are coming together for a journey. I believe it's you and your person, Taurus. I believe that you've known on your heart all along that this person is your gift and vice versa. I believe that this person, um, that who is the priest, is actually the Hierophant, who is you. And I feel the Lord wants to go on a journey with you. I feel like... Um, you're um, up in your head about this, thinking about it all the time. Do they love me? Do they love me not? Do they love me? Do they love me not? And uh, we have the Page of Pentacles, which tells me the Emperor wants to begin again. Yeah, I feel like your person could be an Emperor, and the Emperor is someone who is Aries or any other sign, but someone who is in charge of it all, right? Making the decisions for the many and not the one. This person makes the hard decisions, the decisions sometimes that aren't easy. Yeah, and this person, this emperor, is making a decision about something that is about to begin brand new. I feel like the the um, that this page of pentacles here is looking up at the tower. Like, when is that tower going to fall? I just want to go. 
Yeah, that's what it feels like. We're going to clarify this. Of course, we're going to whip out the articles. If you've ever been to the extended with me, you know that it's not a short reading. But uh, we'll go ahead and clarify everything else that's here. We'll pull out some more oracles. And of course, we will get you some Gaia. I'm going to go for now. Thank you, Taurus, for coming here and watching this. Remember, this is for the week ahead. I will be back every day this week to give you a reading um, for your um, daily energies. Okay, I'm going to go for now. Thanks, Taurus. Love you guys. Bye-bye.